Hi everyone, I am out today for my daily walk with my dog, Bo, so uh, I just thought I would share a few um, ideas with you this morning, so I'm going to turn the camera so you can have a look at what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, so let's, let's start our walk. So the thought that I had this morning as I uh, as I woke up was um, to talk to you about something that I usually tell uh, the women I work with uh, the first time we chat together. So the thing is, um, we usually uh, go to therapy or try to look for different solutions, more holistic solutions, after we've tried so many things and nothing's working. Some people come to me as well because they have an exact idea of what happened in their childhood or, how, um, or about the way they were growing up or sometimes it's even about their own birth. And they tell me, Anne, I know exactly what happened, I know exactly why I'm like that or I've done several therapies and I have the exact answers but I still cannot function. So the way I explain what we can do and what's really efficient when this happens, when we tend to repeat things and we don't really manage to have that breakthrough that we're longing for, is because usually most therapies, and I don't have anything about many therapies because I myself have tried so many of them, and I think we just need to find the one that really makes sense to us many therapies look at the symptoms so I like to use this image and um, I'll do it with you now so let's imagine that we are a tree okay it's like an analogy but it's just to share with you a bit of my thoughts so let's say we're a tree and everything that's not working in our life is the branches of that tree so you could have um, like health issues on that tree you could have pain physical pain you could have mental health problems you could have you know your relationship that's not working you could have your confidence you could have uh, you know I don't know the relationship with your mom the relationship with your partner other things the fact that you can't stand up at, at your work you could have fertility issues as well physical things or just the fact that you know everything's fine with your body but it's just not functioning the way you would like it to for some reason and the thing is all of these things they are the branches of that tree so they're visible that's what you see you know when you look at that tree that's exactly what you can see The way most therapy work is on those symptoms. And that's why you can talk about them. Sorry for the barking. Um, you can talk about them over and over again, try to change those branches. And you can maybe do some tweaks there, but you can never change the whole tree just working on those branches. So what happens is that the therapies that will bring you real breakthroughs are the therapies that will focus on the roots of that tree. So what you can't see, what's hidden, what's underneath the earth, right? So that's what they say, right? If we want to heal a tree, we have to start looking at the roots of that tree. And it's very similar to that. They're usually things that happen to us that sometimes we don't even remember. Sometimes we do, as I was telling you. Some people come to me and they know exactly what happened the day they were born or as they were growing up. They have an exact idea because they've done several therapies and they know what happened but they didn't manage to have the breakthrough on that. So, 
what I would advise you when you have been working on yourself for a long time, um, when you still feel that you're blocked, like even if you understand what happened, the thing's still happening today, right? You still have the same reactions, the same fears, the same ideas. As I was telling you the other day, maybe you reproduce some things that you never thought you would reproduce. The things you learned, you saw from the people you grew up with. Then what needs to be done is really to look at what you can't see consciously. And it's usually what happens in our unconscious, things that we do automatically without even thinking about it. And most of us, we don't even know where it comes from unless we look at the roots. We look at what we can't see. So I wanted to use this, this image of a tree because it's easy to understand. And basically, Every person that I speak to, I just imagine that they're like a tree, right? They come to me and they talk to me about all of these symptoms, all of the things that are not working. And yeah, of course, you need to understand, you know, because your body will talk to you in several forms. And if you don't understand, it will talk to you in, you know, it will try to find ways for you to understand. So usually we will look for therapies when it hurts, right? When we've tried traditional therapies, traditional medicine, and nothing has worked, or, you know, we're a bit better or a bit worse maybe, but things are still happening, or we're better in terms of the physical pain, but our mental health is going down. So what I really want to motivate you today is if you're not well, if things are not working, if you're sad, if you feel you deserve more, that you deserve to be happier, have a better life, have better relationship. And I say that to myself as well, right? Because you never finish this work. You never get 100% healed. It's like um, climbing a ladder or, you know, climbing some steps. You always have a step higher. So we all need to do that. We all need to look at things that don't work the way we want them to in our lives. And we can never stop looking for solutions and feel like oh okay that's you know that's the way it's meant to be I'm not happy I'm not feeling well my relationship is not going great or whatever we can never settle I think that's very important that we understand that there are therapies there are ways there are therapists with whom you will resonate more and that's really the thing, never settle. If you're not happy with the situation you're in, whether it's your job, whether it's at home, whether it's your relationship with your children, I think we need to always look for solutions to feel better in our lives. So that's really the message that I wanted to leave you with you today. Look for solutions, understand that you really deserve to be happy and have a wonderful life, whatever that means for you, because it all means